best known for their Bollywood performances. Take everyone with us uh, onto the other side. I mean, there's world cinema. There's cinema right now all over that's just joining up and we're joining hands, uh, you know, with people from outside as well. Uh. They have recently lent voices for an audio thriller. When it comes to being independent producers, independent filmmakers, although both of us have no experience, but maybe one learns from one's mistakes. News X India A-list proudly recognizes Ali Fazal and Rita Chadda for excellence in entertainment. Hello and welcome, I'm Udaya Pratap Singh. You're joining us on this special interview as part of our News X A-list series. We're in conversation with two very well-known actors who need no introduction, but this time it's a very um, different content that they're coming out with. Yes, their first uh, Spotify original called Virus 2062. I'm talking about Ali Fazal and Richard Chadda. Welcome both of you to NewsX. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. Thank Udaya. you for having us. So nice to be here with you again. Yes. Well, uh, Richa is, of course, uh, uh, very loyal in our promotion. So I'm going to begin with her because I can see Virus 2062 and Spotify and Hindi <laughs> audio thriller right behind me. <laughs> <you. laughs> But uh, we're not getting in, into any trouble, Ali. But uh, no, let me begin with you, Richa. This is very different, of course. Um, it's it's an audio thriller. It's, of course, I think the first time that Spotify has collaborated with stars from the Hindi film industry. Um, so tell us, you know, about what made you come on board and and uh, and what appealed to you. So um, Mantra, we obviously this is a small industry and we all know each other. But Mantra Mukh has been involved in theater and in radio for a while. So his company. Uh, said that there's a script that has come from Spotify and it's one of their uh, international um, properties which they want to do in India. And when when we read the script, it was so meta and so interesting, as you can see from the little visual trailer that we've done, um, that we, and, and also it gave us the opportunity to work together. You know, Ali and I have both done a little bit of theater. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have like that uh, interest in doing a radio play in, yeah. in in creating drama with just your voice for something that I was interested in that he was interested in. in fact the day before the recording he spent time going over everything and uh, you know making notes about the dialogue and things so I, I, I was really excited on two counts of so doing something uh, original with Spotify yeah. and obviously the opportunity to work with uh, Ali, because you know we live together now. We uh, we've been friends. We've we've been partners, but we've never really worked together. So this is a good beginning, I think. Yeah, true. <laughs> well, Ali, uh, what was the clinching factor apart from, of course, also working with Richard you know, on this project? What appealed to you to to actually come on board and do something like this? Um, for well, uh, I you know I I remember a long time back. This was during uh, my college. I was you know doing a little bit of theater in in Bombay and. I chanced upon this one BBC radio play that we did. It was a it was a Shakespeare play called "The Two Gentlemen from Verona," you know, and and so they they brought it on radio. And I remember, of course, years later, I went to London and I was working there. And I used to see that BBC radio plays are, I mean, you know, or whatever, you know, radio plays as just yeah. as they are, they're a big thing still. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was very fascinated with the the way the sounds created visuals and. Um, of course, you know, in cinema also we do that, but you always have the visual yeah. uh, uh, aid. But here you're you're purely using your voice and, and there are scenes and there are stretches of scenes that we've played out between each other. Yeah. that probably have no background sound. They have no nothing. And it's just pure voice. Yeah. And it's something like uh, you get to peep inside yeah. the person, you know, and the world and, and you can create anything. I thought that was really fascinating. I thought, yeah, I think that yeah. that was my buy-in. And, and the story as well, you know, uh, I mean, if, if one were to hear this, say, five years ago, you know, it would be yeah. like this really crazy, uh, you know, a sci-fi thriller. But but right yeah. now we're you know pretty much living through something like this in the world of today. So was that yeah. also something interesting for you? The fact that, of course, people would be able to relate to it, you know, as well. Oh. Oh yeah, I mean, this is this is also me. Uh, I love sci-fi. Uh, I mean, there's a part of me that likes it, loves it, and uh, you know, we've all uh, we've all been fascinated with the future and uh, what's going to happen. And of course, we were literally. I mean, we've grown up watching movies, and I think we all feel like we're in one right now. Yeah. Uh, you know, post 2019, which is uh, it's been a 
topsy turvy world and uh, this is 2062 this guy is coming back from there and i kid you not man that like the way these guys have written it it's bizarre it's almost it you buy it Yeah. it's it's not just okay there's one thing we are dram- dramatically playing it out but then there are things that just make sense and and you feel like okay i could follow one narrative i could follow another one and maybe i'm already in one of them True. um and it's all possible yeah. it's all it all seems possible now yeah. of course after 2019 uh, anything is possible yeah. so you know god i mean even ufos have have made a landing in a <laughs> you know they found their way to kind True. of poke at us uh which which i find really obnoxious because you know if, if there are aliens i mean they would they would know how to conceal themselves and not just randomly be spotted so um but anyway over, yeah. over to you richard yeah yes richard you you want to come in there yeah uh sorry ali aliens are great but i think that uh, no we have nothing to do with the aliens in this one but yeah, <laughs> so i'm sure we'll discover you know the fbi declassified I, and if you want to give us a topic tell you're us already, you're already ideating for the next script i think you're already <laughs> ideating for the next script. so is this you know exciting uh, times for an actor you know richard in, in the industry you know you have content like this coming now this is a completely different medium as you're saying where you can explore your voice as ali was just talking about you know no yeah. background but just your voices you both have theater background of course so that helps um you know you also you're doing content like madam chief minister on on the big screen you know you also have now the digital medium the ott which is really boomed particularly in the last year and a half so exciting for an actor to have these new medium, mediums and new new stories and all forms i think definitely exciting and i i actually see a lot of actors uh doing more uh, like podcasts and doing more uh i know that kalki used to do one about like just conversations yeah. and things i know people have done those kind of podcasts but um to do like a dramatic podcast yeah. or audio that's really interesting um i think it's a great time to be an actor uh but right now there is a problem of plenty i mean of course that is also intermittent whenever the lockdowns not there everyone shoot yeah. it whenever it's back again everyone's back hold into their houses so uh, for me i think the biggest challenge right now is like quality control okay. we are, i mean i safe to say both ali and i are past the point where we can you know make the what we call purane pap mm-hmm. mistakes <laughs> so uh, one has to be really careful with choices yeah. and the thing is with this boom on the ott space now god knows how long it last yeah uh, there is an urgent need to filter out the because just like now everything is being made you know so that is also there so yeah, yeah i think that's the only challenge now the, the how to filter out the like okay. the tv ish ott how to filter that out and yeah. you know stick to the good series the well written stuff with yeah. the good makers and 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 one person who i think uh, uh, maybe modest and will not take credit for that but truly deserves a lot of the credit is mr mirzapur himself ali of course who is in the house with us um, <laughs> but you know but do you believe that that this is a time when audience is appreciating good content in all forms ali and perhaps that's one of the reasons why you also have chosen this time to start your you know your joint production with the production house with richa as well um yeah i mean that that may be that definitely is one reason uh, also the reason me not jumping into more uh, more shows right now is because it takes a lot of my a lot of time and effort and focus and sometimes feel I'm a little less on those fronts uh, but uh, but um yeah that that is going to be a big big thing to deal with right like yeah. w- with the right quality that we're putting out there the reason why we created a production house was also to uh, to to take everyone with us uh, onto the other side i mean there's world cinema there's cinema right now all over that's just joining up and we're joining hands uh you know with people from outside as well uh, uh for our first production and so it's 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 interesting it's a nice time to kind of share notes finally yeah. after years maybe decades you know with with the rest of the clan out there who's yeah. who's out there doing the work putting in the, the hours and so so yeah i mean there's going to be content for everybody Mm-hmm. i think people uh, have become smarter mm-hmm. but uh, there's also simultaneously you know the uh, the corporate you know culture that's going to come in and and yeah. say you know what i'm going to fill your ceiling up with, with lots of content 
Mm-hmm. And so we're going to be little algorithms just moving around and and happy right. in our own little worlds. And I suppose we'll have to somewhere find uh, equilibrium. So let's see. I mean, we're all working towards it, and okay. uh, you know, but, but podcast is something something so interesting, and I feel like it's a it's, it's almost addictive. Yeah, because you're sitting in a studio, and it's just a new form, and and yeah. nobody can touch you because it's it's your voice, True. it's your little fingerprint. True. So yeah, and, and once again, before we end on a on a virus twenty sixty two note, uh, just talking about uh, this new production of yours, Richard. How how is the shoot going? How was your experience in a, a place very uh, close to us, Dehradun, uh, where you were of course shooting and exploring? <laughs> you're, you're on mute. Yeah, sorry, my headphones have died. So and there's my cats and my house help. So I'll just put myself on mute. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, we haven't. Uh, we haven't begun shooting actually. We are just in the process of uh, fundraising. We've applied to a few grants, uh, won a few grants also. The script has been to three strip labs already, including Berlinale this year. Uh, it got into the Gotham City, Gotham. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is huge. I mean, I feel really proud of that. I mean, I I think we're doing uh, the right things uh, when it comes to being independent producers, independent filmmakers, although both of us have no experience, but maybe one learns from one's mistakes. So in that sense, I think we're doing the right things in the uh, in terms of uh, spending time on the content, giving the director what she wants and trying to fulfill her vision and and still uh, trying to make a quality product. In fact, we have a we have a pitch session tomorrow. We are up for another grant for which we had gone to shoot a teaser in Dehradun. Okay. Again, another beautiful uh, ex <laughs> Losco stepped in to help. Uh, we, we shot on their property yeah. uh, called the Dham- Share, which is gorgeous. I'm sure it's like somewhat of a local landmark in Dehradun. Have you been but, there? Do you know about this? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't it's tried. really cool. Huh? He's yeah. put up a bed and breakfast thing there. It's very, very cool. It's wow. beautiful. Okay. So yeah. we got the perfect ambience for yeah. our hill town boarding school thing, yeah. and just so yeah. this generosity of Doscos is really overwhelming at yeah. times. Yeah. You know, I went to a regular you. school. Can, can you say that again? Can you say that? Again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. But but uh, amazing, amazing, great, great stuff, and good luck to you uh, as you, of Thank course, you. Uh, continue this this process. But last word to you, then Ali. Um, on on you know on virus 2062, why people should go out and hear it um, once it's streaming, and also uh, would you be open to do doing more such podcasts in the future too? Oh hell yeah! I think I mean this is something. In fact, I've already uh, we were chatting the other day with someone from Spotify and Mantra himself, and uh, you know we're already cracking on new ideas and new productions that we want to bring in on the podcast front because um, this is this is amazing. It's it's so nice because it's bringing back people. Maybe not to reading books, but some form of using your own brains and using your own imaginations, which which yeah. over time I think we've lost because of the visual aid that everybody's so stuck to, and and our screens and our phones and our TVs, yeah. that it's almost like somebody's just taking you along through those twenty four hours and and yeah. just dropping you then finally on your bed and saying now you sleep. Uh, so mm-hmm. so I think this is a this is a great way and definitely I mean I I know I'm going to be back. Okay. I think both of us are. So, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, kudos to Team Spotify for for this yeah. content, of course, in India, and and thank you so much, Richard Chadda and, and Ali Fazal, for joining us once again on News Extra. Thanks, thanks for that. Thanks thank for you. that. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. For more such videos, subscribe to the News X YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.